GameSpot recently released a video on Black Myth Wukong over on their YouTube channel with over 5 million subscribers. The video itself seems like it could be a fine video going over the gameplay. However, GameSpot is currently getting an abundance of backlash for a portion of their video where they mention accusations against the devs that many people have refuted as being fake, saying that they come from an IGN article that relied on false translations to facilitate these claims against the Chinese developers. GameSpot doesn't directly cite the IGN article, however, they do cite an article from The Guardian which does source the IGN article. In this video, we'll take a look at the entire situation and as always, form your own opinion on this stuff. Before we begin this deep dive, a brief message from an amazing sponsor. Kick back, fight, and level up. Enjoy the epic and relaxing, yet also exciting, new idol RPG, Revenger Saga. Reborn as a mere human, you'll seek to become unstoppable, and then unleash your vengeance on the deities that betrayed you. In your quest for revenge, you can obtain unlimited power through a variety of means. Defeating bosses, slaying monsters, and defending the tower, you'll find the best strategy to defeating all your enemies by switching between over 50 skills and classes, such as the warrior, magician, gunner, crusader, and more. Further customize your character with a variety of different costumes. From bikini outfits to honor knights and even spooky monsters, there are over 80 different costumes that you can get all for free. And this is the perfect time to hop in game, as we have a special code for you. Enter SURFING77 to claim your reward. But it doesn't end there. Log in now and receive 1 million free crystals and 2,000 summons in your first day of playing, as well as a top tier weapon via the login rewards. So to start your journey, check out the link in the pinned comment or the description of this video. We left off talking about the backlash that GameSpot is getting on their Black Myth Wukong video. At the time of recording, the video has 943 likes versus 4,465 dislikes, according to Jabrek.net. So let's take a look at the part of their video that's getting them this negative reception. It should be noted that allegations against game science have surfaced over the years via reports of the developer fostering a sexist culture and work environment, with numerous women in the Chinese gaming community highlighting these problems within the studio, as well as backlash following crude and controversial social media Media posts by Game Science co-founder Zhi Feng. As of this recording, Game Science has repeatedly refused to comment on the allegations, although it has removed some of the offensive wording in its marketing materials that has contributed to the misogynistic culture. Further details on these allegations can be found at a link in the description. So GameSpot sources that article from The Guardian, and I presume they're referring to this particular section right here, which reads, I am unfortunately that with very little honest communication when I bring up a report from IGN, which related alleged sexist comments from multiple developers at Game Science, as well as those in leadership roles. I present Ted with the opportunity to address the claims of misogynistic posts and whether he feels that they represent Game Science's values. Instead, I am shut down with a hasty no comment from their UK PR representative, and then after a long wait given a longer statement of no comment via Ted's translator. I am then told that Game Science's US PR agency will follow up later with their prepared statement, only to be sent the following. Game Science is focused on the demo at this time and will only answer questions related to gameplay. The same thing happened to an IGN reporter at a demo in LA last month. It is disappointing that Game Science is opting to invite journalists to speak to them and play the game, but refusing to answer their questions. Perhaps there is no reassurance to offer. A generous reading of the situation would be that this inexperienced studio is petrified of saying the wrong thing. Yet in failing to say anything at all, Game Science is also failing to distance itself and its game from the multiple crude, disparaging, and misogynistic comments attributed to its employees and leadership. Once again, however, it's difficult to know how valid the claims made against Game Science by IGN really are. Given even that they rely on translations, which objectively don't seem to be very good. There's also other issues which we can view from a rather impartial comment that analyzes the situation, where this user points out the massive cultural gaps between China and the US, and how some of the comments that IGN alleges are misogynistic are actually just crude Chinese idioms, which at worst may be viewed as unprofessional. And furthermore, these crude remarks made by one of Game Science's co-founders on Weibo don't actually specify the gender of the person performing them. That meaning that IGN is actually assuming the individual's orientation in saying that they're misogynistic. Other claims against the company seem to come from anonymous posts on Chinese social media platform Weibo and an employee who was terminated from the company, but none of them seem to include evidence to back up the claims, which makes it very difficult to know where the truth lies. Going back to GameSpot's recent video on Black Myth Wukong, it seems like they would have been better
better off just focusing on the gameplay and not mentioning the article by The Guardian. As for Black Myth Wukong itself, it seems like certain gaming outlets' negative press isn't really affecting the game in a meaningful way, and if anything, may have actually facilitated more interest in the game. We can see that a benchmarking tool for Wukong available on Steam is already achieving over 85,000 players, with an 88% positive rating. And on a recent PlayStation trailer, the comments are filled with thousands of people who are excited for the upcoming release. That seems to be the situation. Once again, form your own opinion on all of this, and let me know what you think about it all in the comments. If you enjoyed my coverage, also consider liking and subscribing. Appreciate ya, and I'll see you in the next one.